What is up YouTube, Skiz1 here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make uh, what I think is basically the world's smallest graffiti mob, um, but it can be made out of not just this, but anything small, uh, anything will work. So uh, before I get into that, I just filmed a review of the block by block correction pen too, um, so it'll probably be uploaded with this video or around the time of this video, so check that out if you're interested. So basically, to make this mop, you only need a few things. Of course, you need something to fill it with. You can buy or make paint or ink. Right now, I'm using uh, block by block ink. Um, I've always found it a reliable ink. You're going to need something for a nib. The best thing to use for a nib is felt, but if you don't have felt, um, you can use stuff that's like cotton like this. Uh, this is for like uh, putting rubbing alcohol on if you have a cut or something like that. You can buy felt at Walmart or uh, I think even the dollar store. Same with this kind of thing. For the mop I'm using a eyedropper. If you don't have an eyedropper you can get some other things that are very small convenient too. Super glue comes in some really small uh, packaging things. If you go to like an auto section of any store, they have a lot of fluids and stuff that are in small squeeze bottles that you can use. If you are using one of these, basically it has this nice screw on cap. It's convenient for you to use and pack up afterward. It's really small. You can carry it around. So the first time I tried to actually get this little part off here, I use pliers, but you, there's really no need, because you can just snap it off like that. And there you go, you have a little uh, container for your ink. Of course now you're going to have to fill it up with ink. Now I have some paper down here, because this is my working desk, I don't want to get it all messy, but I'd suggest doing this somewhere where it doesn't matter if uh, you get ink on whatever surface you're working on. So I'll fill this up with ink. One little trick you can do to fill something up if it has like a really small space to put the ink in uh, is if you have a sticker here, you can just peel the sticker off and I've seen several people do this. So basically you just fold this over and you're making a little funnel out of it. So the sticker sort of gonna stick to itself and then you have a nice funnel like that. Sticky side is out, so this side's sticky. The inside is not, so the ink can flow. So here you have this. And now I'm going to try and fill this up. So uh, after you uh, filled your ink, uh, your ink up, the bottle up with the ink, hopefully you were able to do it with a lot less mess than I was able to. Now it's time to get a nib for it. So again, felt is the best. So since it's such a small space that needs to be filled for the nib and make a huge square or anything, but what you're going to do with this square here is you're going to roll it up just like this. This might even be a bit too big. Is it too big? Yeah, that's a bit too big. Fold it. So that's what's going to be sticking out basically. Now you want to put that right in there. Then you're basically going to twist it until it goes in. Um, you can also push it in with like a toothpick or a screwdriver or something like that. This is pretty fiddly as it is a small thing I'm working with here. But uh, you want to get a nib that's as snug as possible. This one's not a great example, but it'll do. So uh, now you have your nib, you're basically ready to go. Squeeze it a bit there. And you have some nice letters. And there you go, there's your little drip mop. If you uh, get the nib just right, you can put the cap back on too. So this one was pretty messy because it's small, but uh, works really well. So I'm happy with it.
All right, so sorry about the lighting in here, but uh, I'm in my garage. You just saw I did about, uh, I think I did about 10 tags with this, and uh, it lasted for that long with this size bottle. This bottle actually says it's three milliliters on it. it. It can do about 10 tags with this size. The nib, as you can see, it's holding up very well using felt. I think that's the best thing to use for a nib. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So if you have any questions, again, I'll answer them in the comments. Just uh, leave them and I'll get back to you. So until my next video, guys, rate, comment, subscribe. Peace.